Welcome back to Watch Dogs 2 and Robot Wars Part 2. In the previous episode, we managed to get in the Tidus and find this very lift to take us to the secret projects. It took a bit of time to get inside this building, there was a bit to do beforehand, so go back and watch Part 1 if you haven't already. But let's go down and find out what kind of projects they've been working on. Marcus, first impressions on the data you sent me. Looks like Titus has the 10-year plan brewing in some kind of prototype lab. Aye, right, let's see what they're keeping in sub-level 6. And smash the shit out of it! What Wrench means is find and record evidence that Titus is up to something naughty. Well, if you want to get technical, sure. Alright, I'm in a nuclear bunker slash parking garage. You got anything else on the prototype labs? Only that there's one thick-ass iron door in your way. No idea what's behind it if you get through. When I get through. While the current Titus Watcher robots have limited offensive capability, we plan to fit them for a much more active role in conflict zones over the next several years. We are currently testing damage resistance within urban suppression contexts. We are also in negotiations with Galilei to build walkers for their space program. Within the next two years, Titus will begin field testing assault and defense capabilities of our robots for use in both domestic and military situations. Featuring reliable accuracy and superior reflexes, our robots will provide safer alternatives to soldiers or security personnel. Our long-term goals for Titus robots is to construct armor capable of withstanding the strongest ballistic attacks in a combat scenario. In domestic security situations, these new models will easily be able to withstand small projectile attacks, Molotov cocktails, and other improvised riot weaponry. People, I've recorded all kinds of ridiculous robotic shit down here. Here, you're not gonna believe it. Anything usable for the video? Titus and Bloom plan to put CTOS functionality into armed robots and use them against civilians. How does that sound? Yeah, all too familiar. What does that mean? Feeding big data through war machines was a wet dream of some of the blue concept grunts when we first were designing the CTOS. I made sure it got the veto back then. That's why you've been so involved with this one. Yeah, yeah, I have my suspicions. And now we've got the proof to burn them. Head on out. Not done here yet. More to see. I'll be in touch. Okay, we need to get through the door, and to do that, we have a hacking puzzle to solve. Looks fairly simple, um, is my first immediate opinion. But it uh, looks can be deceiving, let's say that. So, okay, this one goes to all of them. This one we need to turn. This one needs unlocking, so we might have to turn this one towards it first and turn it back afterwards. Yeah, that seems to be the way we need to do it. Uh, that one as well goes above our heads once we turn it. And that can go back the other way. That can be unlocked. Maybe it is as simple as it first looked. It does seem to be fairly simple. Uh, okay, this one needs to be fusing twice. Let's do that one over there. Take that, take that down that way. That one can then go back across. Can't unlock that one, but we can use that one. And that one can go across. That's now unlocked. Yeah, that's unlocked as well. Put that one there. It was as simple as I first thought, actually, to be fair. There's always that moment you have a doubt and you think, oh, it looks really simple, but is it? I think it was. And that is a door unlocked. What are we going to find inside? That's the question. Is something coming? Can you guess what it is? I read the description. I'm probably giving it away. Guys, guys, I can't even. What did you find? <gasps> oh, I can't even. Oh. Whew. 
<laughs> Man, why does he get to play with all the toys? Okay, for the next part, we'll get to control of the spider. Now, a little pre-warning, I'm not going to talk through our control of the spider, mainly because it is about to get extremely loud. And I don't want you not being able to hear what I'm saying at the same time as the spider doing its thing. So, enjoy the spider. System online. Alright, I think I got this beast all figured out. Just got to get it through these security doors. Any ideas? Listen, if you knock out the fire suppression system, the doors should open as a failsafe. I can do that. One little thing to note, it did take me a while to figure out how we could destroy the pipes in the ceiling. I spent a while trying to work this out. I couldn't get an angle. I just couldn't get the right way to do it. So we're going to skip ahead. We're going to miss the bit while I'm roaming around the room for quite a while. And then eventually we figured out how to do it. It took a long time. But we can go sideways. Head into the prototypes now. We've got a problem. Looks like the door to the backup servers is still closed. Am I? Not the fuck out of the prototypes the door. Counting on you, buddy. elevator you'll need to find your way up to the backup server room on sub level three who needs elevators make sure you smash the shit out of everything
weapons temperature exceeding norms. I thought y'all might like that. <laughs> this was a gift? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, damn, Ray. You're like some kind of greasy, foul-mouthed Santa. Ho, ho, ho. Merry fucking Christmas. Hey, you guys ready? Sitara's about to release the vid. Compared to other Silicon Valley Titans, Titus goes unnoticed. They do not put effort into their public face. They operate behind closed doors, away from prying eyes. Death's egg pride, and what we found should worry you. Titus is using your tax contributions to fund military-capable machines. Today, a combat prototype rampages through their own facility, demonstrating the destruction they can cause. Within the next 10 years, these machines can be deployed on American soil. If you do not exercise your right to protest them now, they will build an army to keep you quiet and compliant. Titus has partnered with Bloom to grant CTOS access to their machines. Bloom has sold your private information and weaponized it to use against you, should this project continue. We will not stand idle while that happens. DeadSec has given you the truth. Do what you will. Come on, let's go see what you scored before you get all the pages all stuck together. Hey, I'll catch up with you later. All right, later. And that is Robot Wars complete. Now, we managed to take down Titus. It was brilliant fun using the spider. A little bit annoying, I couldn't work out how to take out the ceiling pipes sooner. I think it took about half an hour in the end to actually figure it all out. But we have completed it. We've let the people know that Titus, with Bloom's help, are making robots to take over the world. And we have put paid to that for the time being. But that is it for today. If you are enjoying this series or any content on the channel, do not forget to subscribe, ring the bell, drop a like, and there'll be more great content on the way. Next episode, we continue on in our journey to make sure everyone knows who DeadSick is and get enough followers to take on Bloom once and for all. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you again soon.